All right, joining me now for another edition of Coach's Corner, NEHL edition, is head coach of the Knights, Tom Kowal. And coach, uh, let's start with last week. Uh, you guys had four games. Um, you know, you came away at one point with an overtime loss. Obviously, not the result that you wanted. Uh, but from the the perspective of a broadcaster up top, it, it seemed like you guys actually played some some decent hockey there, especially in that first game against Johnstown. Um, obviously, it's not a success if you can't come away with some victories, but how would you judge your team's play uh, from the beginning of the week to the end of this past weekend? You know, I, I, like you said, Tim, we got one point out of four games. So, so we had eight points on the board and we got one point. Anytime you do that, you're not, you're not happy mm -hmm. as a staff, as an organization. I mean, yes, you, like you said, we play decent hockey, but when you're playing the, the number one team in the league, Aston Rebels, sure. You know, when you're playing teams above you, you know, the, the Titans have been playing real well. You know, uh, you, you can't play decent hockey. you got to play good hockey. you got to play above average hockey. And, you know, we, you know we, we seem to get a little tired through the weekend. But ultimately, we, we, we play good defensively. we just got to finish the puck. we got to score offensively. You know, there's no, I've, I've tried to win a hockey game yeah. scoring zero goals the last 35 years of my life and it's never worked so right. you know hopefully we can come in this weekend uh you know we had a good week this week i think the guys really get the point that we got to pick it up another mm -hmm. notch if we want to get those two points each night we go on we go to the rink and we'll see what happens this weekend yeah you, you touched on it there uh the offense you know started the week getting three goals against new jersey three goals against aston and then the you know the goal production dropped a little bit there against johnstown despite there being a Fair amount of chances. Uh, what do the guys have to do to finish those chances off? You know, just bear down. I mean, we put them this week. We put them in offensive opportunities in practice. So, you know, that the try and best prepare them for the the weekend games. Where, what position they're going to be in this weekend when we play Aston there and you know at home on Saturday. But basically, it's just be a hockey player, make plays. Um, you know, we have we have some dynamite hockey players in our organization right now on the, on this team and. You know, we're underachieving offensively, uh, and so, you know, hopefully the, the puck bounces our way. We haven't got puck bounces this, you know, the last couple of weeks, but, you know, maybe uh, Santa Claus will bring us an early present this weekend, give us a few puck bounces, and uh, we can walk away with a couple of victories. The power play has been struggling this year. You and I have talked about it in the past, but, you know, again, in this past week, uh, there were some signs of life there. I mean, I think even on Wednesday, even though there wasn't a power play goal, it seemed like you guys were moving the puck pretty well. You got a couple against Aston on the man advantage. You had one against Johnstown in that first game very early. I think you had two power play goals last week within the first eight seconds of the power play starting. Uh, are you seeing things that are encouraging there? You know what? We've, we've made a few adjustments. Uh, uh, we've made a few personnel changes, moved some guys around. Uh, you know, that... On special teams, whether it's power play, penalty kill, we have to execute. We have to dominate. We have to be better at that. And, uh, you know, our penalty kill took a little uh, kick in the butt last week, but our power play did very well. Right. So, hopefully, you know, what? That's we spent uh, a majority of our practice this week working on special teams. Uh, I, I guarantee you're going to see better special teams, but we just got to move. we we got to move. we got to attack. You know, we've got to... You know, play to our ability, not what they're giving us. We got to make make plays and finish the puck. I mean, we like you said, we had opportunities. We just have to bear down and make sure we uh, we we finish the play that we we created. Now I know we've talked about this before as well, but Aston, you know, you mentioned it. They're tops in the league right now in points in the standings. They're right up there at the, the very very top. Um, they've had a streak against you guys this season. Of, of just winning games and again Friday last Friday was a close one I mean, you guys tied it up in the third against the team that typically shuts the game down in the third period um, you know again I know we've discussed the fine points of playing this team but what do you what do you think now after what happened last Friday uh, is is that last step to get a victory against them you know it's just out out playing them I mean they they uh, you know they're experienced they got junior experience behind their belt they got a couple kids coming off to college um, you know, they got a core of their, their team back last year, their top guys from, you know, Garcia, their captain. You know, he's a, he's a great leader. He's a good hockey player. You know, Joe Coombs, a very good coach. Uh, you know, we just, we have to outplay them. We have to play night hockey. You know, we, we get caught up playing Aston Rebel hockey. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, when you're trying to play to the other team's strengths, you're, you're not going to have a great outcome. Sure. The victory we had this season against Aston in our building mm -hmm. was we played nice hockey. We made them adjust to us. And, uh, you know, there's no doubt in my mind if we just play the way we know how to play and, and don't be intimidated about the team being in first place. Mm -hmm. You know, you know we, they're only as good as we make them. Sure. And, uh, you know, it, it's... It's a, it's a personal vendetta. I, I have a good friend with Joe Coons, yeah. great hockey coach, but it's, uh, it's about time I, I, I end up on top sure. after this weekend before Christmas so I can nag him all weekend long. Yes, indeed. Now, the, uh, right before the holidays, the Knights will have two more games, the first being on Friday at 7 o'clock in Aston, the second Saturday here at home at the Revolution Ice Center at 7.30 p.m. If you want to catch that down here, it's Ugly Sweater Night here at the Revolution Ice Center. If you can't make it, there'll be a broadcast of the game on HockeyTV.com. And for all Knights information, check out www.wbsnightshockey.com. So, Coach, we wish you a, a really good uh, holiday break coming up here. But before that, we wish you guys good luck coming up here. Yeah, Tim, I'd like to just real quick here. I'm not going to get a chance to go back home. Uh, I want to wish my uh, big daddy back home in Alaska that listens to every game and my family back home in Alaska a very Merry Christmas. And... Make sure you get me my presents <laughs> on time. So I love you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, Tim, I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks, Coach.